Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be on the very soft and daily makeup look as I discovered recently that on my channel there is nothing like that. I would always do like a very heavy smoky eyes or something like that, more difficult stuff, but nothing like day-to-day -day basis. So yes, today I just decided I'm going to sit down, I'm going to show you how to do something very nice and I think so very glam at the same time. So yeah, if you want to know how to achieve this so glam makeup look, just keep on watching. So today I will start from my face because we don't do nothing heavy. So I'm starting from my primer which is Catrice Prime and Fine, the pore refining and anti-shine base. It's, it's fabulous, it's absolutely my go-to right now and I would say even it's my ride or die as I recommend this as well to my mom because she has a shiny t on uh, just like me. And she's so happy right now with the uh, primer. She say she can keep her skin not shine away. I'm going to, for my foundation, I'm going to mix my Revlon Color Stay with um, Infallible um, L'Oreal. Let's mix them both because the Revlon is very pale and I'm looking like Snow White, which I don't really like. So I prefer to just mix like a little tiny drop of the L'Oreal and that's it. Using my beauty blender to blend it out. And I'm, I'm moving on to my concealer and I'm going to mix my um, Naked Urban Decay Naked Concealer and my Catrice Liquid Camouflage and this is number 20 Night Beige and this is Fair Neutral. This is one just the Urban Decay is just too light for me. So I like to mix them both and I also put it on my eyelids as my eye base. I'm using just the lighter one, the Urban Decay. And I'm putting just cut race under my eyes here. And I'm using my Real Technique sponge and I'm just blend it out. I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just um, doing a little baking here. I'm going to set my under eyes and also my eyelids. So yeah, and just because I'm not using any contour stick which I'm used to use, but today you like doing daytime makeup nothing too heavy so i'm just going move on straight to my um powder which i'm using today my laura mercier translucent setting powder so yeah i'm just putting on my these i'm quite heavy but i'm using my beauty blender so it doesn't it doesn't show you that no you can't really see that i'm putting actually a lot of powder just because that helps to blend with your skin very easily. And I'm also using it for the rest of my face, but here, as you can see, I'm just dabbing it around my face. Not really working carefully as I did on the rest of my face. Okay, I think so now I will move to my eyes and then I will finish off my face because I'm feeling, I'm looking pretty cool. Um, okay, so today I'm going to use my palette 35 O by Morphe, which I've showed you in my last video. And I say, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to start with this color right here. And I'm using my Morphe M441. As always, I'm putting it softly to my crease and down. Uh, I think so, it's maybe one or two tones darker than actually my skin. I'm 
noticing my other eye. Okay, now I'm going to take something a little bit more darker. I will still use the same brush. I'm going for this one. Actually, they look pretty... No, this is actually darker. So I'm using this one right now. The same brush. Oh, this is more orange. Just a tiny bit of this one. Nothing too heavy. Okay, and I'm using just a little bit of a darker shade, which I'm going for this one. And I'm taking my M brush in number six. And just a little tiny bit here. Just to put a little bit of dimension on my eye, just don't to keep this that quietly here we go I'm going to change the brush for my um, I can't talk today for my M brush number seven and I'm going to use this shade right here which we use as a second one and I'm just blending into my lower lash line It's something similar which I've done on my previous video, but on my previous video I've used, I mean, it's not, there's a look from my previous video because I'm not sure if you will see the one which actually I created makeup because that is just video, that was video for fun. But yeah, I'm going to change now for my, if I will find it. I'm going to change for my uh, Luxie 227. 217 sorry and I would dar take the darker shade and I'm just going to use it just down here very close to lash line I could actually use my E15 move and I will use my MAC Naked pigment is this the pigment? yes yeah, Naked so it's one of my favorite pigments ever from MAC and I'm just going to take it on my finger and I'm just going to pack this on my lid okay this is done so I'm just taking the brush and just blending these two colors into each other here we go I'm taking my Ardency in coffee monster in coffee and I'm just going to use the top lash line Now I'm going to curl my lashes. Okay, so when I curl my lashes, I'm going to use my mascara. And today I'm using my Million Lashes Extra Black, my L'Oreal. I'm sorry for my hand, but I recently tried to do on my own the uh, henna tattoo actually that was my first time doesn't look perfect and well next time will be better so the eyes are nearly finished and we're just going to put a little bit of my mascara brow just to make them either that's golden rose brow color Tinted eyebrow mascara, and this is in number six. In there is no name of the color; it's just number six. It's a, like pretty dark brown. To use today my Laguna. I'm going to use today my Nars Laguna bronzer, and actually, that is first time finally where I can use this. I just got this recently, but I didn't really have anything to put makeup on so I'm not doing any kind of contouring I'm mostly just warming up my skin a bit
Just a bit of bronzer and the face looks absolutely differently, like immediately. Okay, now I'm going to use my blush and I'm going to use my matte, no, my Essence Matte Blush, Touch Blush in Bury Me Up. And I'm using my brush as well from a brush set and just a little bit. And I forgot to do my brow bone, so I will use the lightest shade from here. It actually reminds me a lot of my Mount Blanc type. You can't really see much difference, but I can see it. My Catrice on single eyeshadow, it's that number 40, and I'm going to try to use it today as a highlighter. And I'm going to use for this one my Inglot for SS. It's really, really soft something. Perfect for the day. I'm going to actually also use this one as my find the brush. As my inner corner highlighter and I'm using for this my Zoeva 230. Just a little bit of the highlight. On the, on the, at the end I'm going to use today um, something which I really wanted to try in front of the camera and that's Jouer the Frost Bind, the lip topper. You can use it on, the, on its own so I'm going to do it today. And I'm gonna say that camera doesn't show how pretty is actually this lip topper by Jouer. But well, you have to trust me or just get it on your own and you will find out that it's one of the best things and it's really, really nice and worth every penny. So yeah guys, that's it for today's makeup look. I hope so you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!